The Ontario Lacrosse Association released a new policy which is going to affect every lacrosse player in Ontario in a major way. The document goes on to state that if you participate in any kind of non-sanctioned event, which includes camps, clinics, showcases, tournaments, anything like that, you will be suspended for the entirety of this season and also the next season. So if you're playing minor, if you're playing junior, and you're playing senior lacrosse, and you do any of those kind of events that are not sanctioned by the OLA, you're suspended for this season and also next season as well. But then when we take a look at the Ontario Lacrosse Association's strategic goals, they claim to put the players first, putting the best interest of all players at the center of our decision-making process. So with the document and policy that I just talked about, where basically if you participate in any OLA non-sanctioned event, you're suspended from the OLA for this season and the following season, and also the OLA's claim to put the players first, does it sound like the players are being put first in this scenario or the OLA is being put first in this scenario? I'll let you guys decide.